Do you know what makes Starbucks different from other brands? His premium positioning, strong brand identity, and customer loyalty. These dynamic qualities elevate it from a simple coffee into 98.34 billion dollar brand. Hi everyone. So let's begin this 3D reel. So before starting, I wanted to let you know that the 3D assets which are used in this video, like this cup, I have them made in After Effects. If you want to know how to make them, then you can check out my description. The After Effects tutorial is also there. So let's begin this CapCut tutorial. We'll start by bringing in our background. Okay. So I'll hit Windows plus dot key. Select this square. Okay. Now the next thing. Is this the surface or green or green? Default text. Windows press dot key and this time I'll select the circle. Make it big. Now I'll just select this and make this dark green. So using the color thicker tool. Yeah. This line. We have to create this line. Okay. So what we'll do is again bringing default text. Windows plus dot key symbols square okay or style change this color to green now increase the font size scaling okay then i'll make it a compound clip by hitting all plus c around to video mask add mask split okay rotate it like this make sure the edges are covered okay yeah now the next thing is again we have to make this a fun pound play okay by hitting all plus g now copy the circle change it to this color okay recurring this above yeah now i have made this a pound complete to add out to video mask add mask split and rotate it like this now the next thing is doing the animation so this thing is very simple now we have to simply select both of these okay hit alt plus g to make them all a compound clip okay so the second circle we made and this line i have selected them both and made a compound clip now if i head on to mask add mask split you can see that with this line this part will also come okay so as you can see the same animation is being used here now i'll just bring my cup animation okay hit on transform keyframe go ahead again hit on transform keyframe go to the first keyframe drag this down hit all plus k i'll step to the pop increase the distance for smoother animation now we'll do this animation now I don't do mask split okay put it here take on this keyframe go ahead drag this down at R plus K and then make this also beautiful out increase the distance as you can see you have got the stacking animation very easy after this animation click here transform keyframe Again, click here and then click the circle. Transform. Go ahead. Again, click the same. Select these three and drag them down like this. Okay. Now, select individually. Hit all plus K. And the animation should be slow at the start and first at the end okay i'll be selecting the bomb deal and okay so this will be a starting animation after this just at the you know last kick frame but this okay so the animation will look like this yeah and then we'll start with the next animation which is this so i'll copy my you know green background 
bring my second cup okay and then simply as this bring in my text default text okay hit underscore key make it black and we can you know simple do this okay now select everything except the background and hit all plus g to make a compound clip okay okay now i'll go inside the compound clip select this okay upper line head down to animation and i'll select type 2 now let's see okay just have to rotate it okay now as you can see i've got this again head on inside and come over here head on to animation and do it fill in okay now just copy this compound cube okay three times so total there will be three copies okay now i'll just disable the first two and select the first one and then head on to video scale it up put it over here okay yeah now just you know head on to video transform keyframe go ahead need to turn transform keyframe okay and then drag this go to the first keyframe and drag this to the right hit R plus K subscribe cube about drag this E paints okay and then as soon as this ends or now enable the second one okay run to video scale this up okay and when this ends just cut it and start the second one and this time we have to bring it down okay something like this on the video transform keyframe go ahead hit on transform keyframe go to the first keyframe drag this up and in the second keyframe bring it down a bit hit alt plus k cubic out drag this or stretch this out okay so you get this animation and then at the end just again we have to cut it by hitting b hit b and bring it over here yeah so as you can see the first two animations are completed and it's looking very good so you know the last two are very simple okay so what he has done is use this okay so you can easily create this no what you can do is let me just show you how he has done that so windows plus dot key and then you know sim select this increase the font size then increase the scaling okay yeah, so he has used this and then the deselect the uniform scale and increase the weight. Okay, now select whichever color. Let's say I want to go with orange. Okay, and he has used shading. Okay, gradient ramp. So here is dark green, here is white. So let's try to do that. Let's copy this and I want to go with dark. Okay, now make this simply a confirm clip video mask, add mask, split. Rotate it to minus 180 and feather it out. So you 
can see you can create a mixture of two colors like this okay and this animation is scaled okay the animation is scaled so you know you can do it very easily just bring in okay select the transform keyframe go ahead again select transform keyframe go to the first keyframe and make it zero or plus k we bound out okay and you'll take this animation now simply you know this number counting is there you can watch one of my previous videos for number counting effect and this text animation so that's it for today's video see you in the next